Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions on Brand Channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's 9 7 in class again today. How have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to show you how to use this calculator to determine the um, inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix and a 3 by 3 matrix. So, an invertible matrix is a square matrix that has an inverse. That means there exists another matrix that, when multiplied with the original, it yields what the identity matrix that's one and then for it to be invertible its determinant must be non-zero that means its determinant must not be what zero right good so um we are going to start by taking this calculator to the matrix mode and then to do that we click on what mode right good so if you use this drop down you are going to see another menu but let's just stick to the first one so in this first menu we have about six modes so the mode we are interested in is what vector is matrix rather which is what which is six so we click on six now it is asking us that if we want to um, enter the matrix mode we should identify three matrices is it a b or c so let's start with a so we click on one right good so what's the dimension of our a matrix is it three by three three by two three by one and then each of them are represented with what one two three four so down to six so if you click on one you are trying to declare a three by three matrix if you click on four you are trying to declare what a two by three matrix and all of that so we are starting with a two by two matrix so we click on what five so now you see the array for what your two by two matrix so we have to impute the elements of our two by two matrix so we have three press enter two enter one enter five enter so we have what um imputed the elements of our two by two matrix which is what three two one five so you click on what ac now you can see the matrix mode has been activated and then we are going to show you another method or another way for you to get to your matrix so you click on shift four right good so when you click on shift 4 you see this window it also has two pages if you click on this drop down it takes you to the second page so let's just stick with the first page so the first page is what dimension data matrix a matrix b matrix c the math answer the determinant and what the transpose now what the dimension does is that it helps you determine or define declare the dimension of the matrix that um, you want and then the data contains what the data that um, you have stored in a particular matrix and then it will display the data you have stored in that matrix and then matrix a maybe you want to perform an operation matrix a multiplied by matrix b so since um, we have um, defined matrix a we can just click on two and then click on one so that we are now going to see what our matrix A that we had stored earlier, right? Good. So that's what data does. But we need to also get a three by three matrix. So we still come to dimension. And then this time around, it will be what matrix B because A already contains our two by two. So we click on two. And it's now asking us what is the dimension of our, what of our matrix. So we tell it was three by three. So if you use the drop down, you also see what more dimensions, right? Good. So we stick to what the first page that has um, one to be three by three so we click on one so we now impute the elements of what our three by three matrix so we have one two three zero one four then five six and zero so this is what our these are the elements of our three by three matrix so we have imputed it if we click on ac and we still come back to the matrices this time around it's a data now so we go to two and then we click on two because it's what matrix b we are going to see what our three by three matrix now finally the inverse of each of these matrices that we have stored that's two by two and then the three by three right good so we still come back to shift four which is the matrix window and we have told you earlier that if you click on three it will take you to what to matrix a which is um, if you want to carry out any operation on matrix a so we have what matrix a right good so how do you now get the inverse you click on what this inverse button which is matrix a 
raised to power minus one right good so if the matrix is invertible when you do this and you press equal to it will return what the inverse of that matrix you see how simple and short it is so these are the elements of what the inverse so the first one is 5 over 13 we have minus 2 over 13 we have minus 1 over 13 and then we have 3 over 13 so if you want your answer in a fraction or decimal you have your answer the way it is here right good so that is the inverse of our 2 by 2 matrix which was stored as what matrix a if we click on ac and we still come back to shift 4 and then we go to 4 this time around because we are trying to do matrix b and remember matrix b or is here matrix b is our 3 by 3 matrix so we click on 4 and then we also use what this inverse and then we click on equal to it will displays the inverse of that our 3 by 3 matrix so you now see we have minus 24 18 5 20 minus 15 minus 4 minus 5 4 and 1 right good these are what the elements of what the inverse matrix of what our 3 by 3 matrix that we had declared earlier so um, we have shown you how to use this your calculator maybe if you have calculated it manually and you want to check if your answer is correct you can just go about it to maybe use this calculator to check the um, inverse of your matrices right good so if you want to go back to the default mode still come back to mode and then you click on one right good so you see now the matrix mode is off if we do shift four the matrix doesn't come up again because we have cleared what the matrix mode right good so thanks for coming to class we hope we have provided solution to this particular problem i am on showing you how to use your calculator the same casio fx 991 es plus calculator to um, determine the inverse of um, a 2x2 two two matrix and what um, a 3x3 three three matrix so we are going to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye